Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this video, I want you to formulate a hypothesis on how birds survive the end Cretaceous extinction. Most scholars agree that the massive asteroid that struck the Earth 66 million years ago and the resulting destruction led to the near instantaneous extinction of dinosaurs and many marine animals living at the time including marine reptiles and ammonites. But why did the birds, the mammals, the list amphibians, the lizards, snakes, turtles, and crocodiles survive the event? Let's look at what they all have in common. They were relatively small and can live under a range of warm to tropical environments. Aside from crocodiles, they were not necessarily near the top of the food chain. And maybe it was access to food that allowed these groups to survive. The ectotherms, the lizards, snakes, list amphibians, turtles, and crocodiles, did not need to eat as frequently as the endothermic dinosaurs. Hence, maybe there was an advantage to being an ectotherm. Some of the larger survivors also lived in the water, and water might have been an ideal refugia during the intensity of the asteroid impact. But that leaves out the mammals and birds. Mammals could have burrowed underground during the fallout of the asteroid impact, but birds would be out in the open air. How did they survive such a catastrophic event? One of the interesting facts about Mesozoic birds is that most of the birds exhibited teeth, hence they were adapted for eating prey items like small lizards, other birds, amphibians, invertebrates, and whatever they could find. But none of the toothed bird groups survived the end Cretaceous extinction. Instead, it was the beaked birds. Beaks are used primarily for seed eating and in cracking hard nuts. During the Cretaceous, nuts and fruits had evolved for the first time, and many plants had taken advantage of having birds distribute seeds and nuts through their long distance flight. By sacrificing some seeds and nuts to be consumed by the birds, the fruit and nuts could be used to lure birds to consume this diet and help distribute the plant over long distances very quickly. When the asteroid impact struck the Earth, the nuts in particular may have served an important food reserve for the beaked birds. While the toothed birds, unable to eat hard nuts covered in hard shells, were left to starve, while the birds with beaks had a store of food that could last a while until the forest at least returned and the plants matured enough to produce a new crop of fruits and nuts. There are a couple ways to test this hypothesis. One is to look for toothed birds in the early Cenozoic. If you find one, it sort of discounts this theory. Two is to compare the survival of mammals. Were they also seed and nut eaters like the birds? Three is to compare the fossil record of nuts and seeds across the end extinction event. How well did these plants survive the event? Like all paleontology hypotheses, these require additional collection of fossils, but it is a good exercise to formulate hypotheses that can be tested with further fossil collection. All right, you should be able to formulate a hypothesis on how birds survive the end Cretaceous extinction and ways to test your ideas using the fossil record. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin slash burger.org. Links are found in the description below.